Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Cleto Reyes Hero Double Loop Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Cleto Reyes Hero Double Loop Boxing Gloves. I got mine in the copper colorway, 16 ounces. It is a dual Velcro closure style glove. They don't make this in lace up. You can get this anywhere between 12 and 16 ounces, as well as an Oxford gray and pearl white colorway. Now this is gonna be Reyes' newest glove model to their lineup in recent years. You're really starting to see Reyes venture out and make other models outside of their traditional latex training gloves and their Pro Fight gloves, which are their most popular gloves by far. Um, they now have the Safe Tech Pro Fight gloves. They have the hybrid gloves, which is essentially their training gloves uh, with lace up and Velcro integrated into the glove. They have their extra padding gloves, which are a little bit more protective over the knuckle area. Uh, most recently, they came out with the high precision gloves, uh, which were a little bit more of a compact style glove. Uh, those were solid, but there's definitely some opportunities with that glove, mainly when it came to the comfort. And now they have uh, these Hero Double Loop gloves. And from a design standpoint, the first thing that's gonna catch your eye is gonna be this dual Velcro closure system. The glove itself is made of full genuine cowhide leather made in Mexico, just like other genuine uh, Cleto Reyes products. But again, you do have this dual Velcro system that has this perforated Oxford gray leather. So you have a little bit of a smaller strap on right here, which is about an inch and a half that goes one direction. And then you have this lower strap at the very bottom that goes the opposite direction. So the whole premise behind this, and you've seen other companies do their own renditions of a Velcro clo closure system that has a tapered style strap, um, a V-strap system that you see that Rival does. Um, so there's other companies that do something very similar in their own way. Obviously you have the Hayabusa uh, T3s that has a Velcro closure that kind of slips through a slot and it goes one direction and the other one comes over. So this is not something that's necessarily groundbreaking when it comes to closures, but it is unique to Reyes because we tr traditionally don't see Reyes come out with this style of glove. So that was very unique is going to be this dual Velcro closure system. The other thing that Reyes points out when they describe these gloves is that they're supposed to be more ergonomic and more on point with weight being uh, being, I guess you can say a lightweight glove. So to me, that tells me that these gloves should be on point with weight at the advertised weight of 16 ounces, which is right here. Uh, you do have this Clutterius rubberized patch on the back of the lower strap right there. And you'll also notice that this upper strap is tapered up. So you essentially have a little bit more support higher up on the bottom portion of your palm when you slide uh, your hands in. You'll notice that that Oxford grade leather is perforated so it has almost like it reminds me of leather seats in a car uh, that has that kind of that dimpled look with the perforated leather you do have the ventilated holes on the palm as well as on the thumb and a grip bar right here that has a point to it it's almost like it's triangular and it's a little bit small it would have been nicer if this was larger and rounder so you can really grip onto it when you make a fist and you also have a black attached thumb the copper leather on here is very nice. It has a very nice thick feel, and it's pretty much the same quality and gray that you would find in their training gloves. Uh, one unique thing about the Reyes logo on the back of the glove is it doesn't have the traditional logo with the oval that goes around the font. So I thought that was kind of unique that it has uh, the Cleto Reyes established 1945, but no actual circle around it to kind of give it its own unique look. And then you have the black piping that goes around the Velcro straps. The inside liner is your standard Reyes liner that has that satin liner on the inside. You also have the manufacturing tags at the bottom right here. And I'd say you have maybe about an inch of medium density foam padding on the back of the wrist. On the inside of the wrist, let me go ahead and close the strap real quick. I'd say you have, again, maybe about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of padding that com comes up. And you notice that it has kind of an angle to it how it comes up into the glove. And then you have that same on this backside that rises and it cuts off right here where the stitching is at. Quality wise, the gloves are very nice. 
and that's pretty much something I would expect from a raised glove. Uh, when I put these on the scale, they're actually slightly underweight. I believe they were weighed in at 15.6 or 15.4 ounces. So surprisingly, these are the very first gloves, maybe the high precisions, I can't remember, that are actually underweight for a raised glove. Typically, you would see that these gloves would be overweight by like an ounce or two. Uh, so these are underweight at about 15 and a half ounces compared to their 16 ounce weight tag, which, you know, for a Mexican style glove, especially for raised, is to be fr quite frank is a, a breath of fresh air typically they're super heavy so um, but the stitching on here is very nice the leather has a nice premium feel it does utilize latex foam padding that's a little bit more on the denser side you can see the glove is very well balanced it does have a shorter cuff to it it's not a very long cuff glove like their tra training gloves so if you're looking for something that's a little bit shorter and a little bit stockier uh, than their traditional training gloves. These definitely will be a good choice for you. But you can see the leather is done very nicely. Uh, the perforation looks good. You have a little bit of fraying right there on that threading on the inside of the strap. And there's the stitching on the outside edges. The perforated leather looks really good. The impact surface has held up really nicely. I'd say that the copper on here has more of a pearlescent look to it. It's not very metallic even though maybe in the video it does look kind of metallic, but it has a little bit more of a subdued color to it uh, when you're looking at it in person. But it has that nice sheen to it. I'd say it has kind of a semi-gloss uh, look to it and feel. And right here you can see the palm side, the holes are all poked out very nicely. Uh, the liner is pretty standard for what you would find in a Reyes glove, no issues there, no tearing. And this side looks good as well. You can see that. Stitching looks really clean. I'd say the grip bar can definitely be larger. Um, yeah, but other than that, it looks good. Now, this is kind of both a comfort as well as a, I guess, design as well as a quality issue. So depending on how big your, your forearm is, when you strap these gloves down, you'll notice that if you make it really tight, you have quite a bit of overlap. And I actually mentioned this when I did my unboxing video of these gloves. So I'll put these on just to show you guys, both in terms of like comfort and how these Velcro straps go on. So I'll, I'll strap them in. And you'll notice that you do have that overlap. So if you get these in 16 ounces like I have here and you wanna use them for sparring, I'm just not a fan of that at all. You know, to me, you should have something here to where the strap can really lock down on and not protrude so much or make the strap shorter so that you don't have that excess material that just flares out. And to me, that's just a really poor design in my opinion to have just that excess material. Even with hand wraps on, I'm not a big fan of that. Now the design of the strap itself coming up here, I love that. You know, that's a very nice feature. You really feel like your, your hand is locked in. Um, another great thing about this glove compared to the other Reyes gloves, I feel like this is the most comfortable out of the Reyes gloves I've used in terms of hand ergonomics. Uh, so this thumb piping is done very well. It's not too tight. The thumb is definitely probably the best out of the Reyes gloves I've used. Um, not saying it's a perfect thumb. It does have a little bit of a flare out, but compared to their training gloves, their high precision and even their extra padding, to me, this is their best thumb so far. It's pulled in a little bit more. It has a good amount of depth. So when you make a fist, it doesn't collapse down on the tip of your thumb and it feels very comfortable. So they did a very nice job with the thumb. Um, the depth of the finger compartment is perfect. You can make a really nice tight fist. It's not too wide, not too narrow. Um, and you have a little bit of a, a covering of the liner over the stitching. You still can kind of feel it. Would have been nice if they put like some felt and neoprene right there to really clamp down on it, but it doesn't feel un uncomfortable. It's just something that you notice. And the grip bar is too small in my opinion. I wish they had a larger grip bar. Um, it does have that latex foam padding that has more of a medium to firm density to it. And the glove does take a little breaking in to get it really nice and soft. So you're gonna have to use this on the bag, do some sparring with it, really just sit in these gloves, sweat in them to really break these gloves down and get that latex uh, nice and softened up. But my biggest complaint is gonna be just how much that Velcro extends past uh, where it needs to lock down into. And if you're using this for the bags, you're hitting the double end bag, you're doing mitt work, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a bit of an eyesore, so it kind of looks like crap. Uh, but the main thing is if you were to use these for sparring, that's gonna be a big no-no, um, especially because this is the actual rough side of the Velcro. So if you ever had that scrape against your skin, you know that can definitely uh, 
leave a burn mark pretty bad. So that's gonna be a big issue. If you do end up getting these for sparring, I would definitely recommend taping them down so they don't come loose during sparring. Uh, but other, other than that, I mean, they've done a really good job with the comfort of the gloves. The hand ergonomics are definitely on point. Protection and performance, I would say that these are pretty well balanced glove and do a good job of protection. They're definitely not a puncher style glove. And you can see just the density of this foam padding is very good. I have my fight camp bag here. And when I use it on the fight camp bag or even my pro bag, you get some nice satisfying pop. They're pretty comfortable. And they do a really good job absorbing shock. So the padding system, the way it absorbs shock, the comfort of the gloves, to me are, are some of the best when it comes to a Reyes glove. It's just too bad that they didn't design this wrist section and this wrist support a little bit better because to me that would be a huge game changer in that regard. So maybe they can redo it, make a different iteration of this glove, but everything from here on up, I feel like they've done a really good job with and really improved on past models, especially their, their traditional training gloves. Um, and you can see even the, the length of the cuff compared to the training gloves is shorter. So if you're not a big fan of gloves that really drop down onto your forearm, uh, then these would definitely be a good choice for you. Cost-wise, these gloves retail at $235. Um, I definitely think that is overpriced, in my opinion, for this glove. Uh, mainly because of the little design flaws um, and because their training gloves are a sub $200 glove. I feel like you're essentially getting a little bit more of a comfortable and protective version of their training gloves but with a lackluster um, wrist design. Uh, wrist supports better um, so there's a little bit of a trade-off. I'm, I'm kind of, to me, I'm, I'm perplexed on this one a little bit because there's a lot of things they've done well with this glove, but there's certain things that I don't like because of that strap. And the pricing being $235 is a big one. You, you know, there's so many other competitors out there that have great gloves now that it would be hard for me to justify getting picking this over a pair of like Phenom SG210s or SG202s um, and some, so many other gloves out there, the MK1 Selects that I, I think are awesome gloves. So that's the biggest issue for me. If they can refine the Velcro system, then I definitely think they would, they have a big winner with this. But as it currently stands, you know, this is to me is a glove that I would pay probably 150, not more than like $180 for, definitely not $235. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Clutterious Hero double loop boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.